Hey everyone, this is Garrett with GNM Outdoor Services back at you with another video. Here's some GoPro footage I would got. Um, here I'm just basically opening up uh, the lot. You can see how it's still snowing coming down pretty good. Basically what we do is we to open up the lot so that when the snow does finally quit, there's just that much less to plow. So usually we have this open by around 6 to 7 a.m. Um, I think this was like around 9 p.m. So I'm just kind of opening it up so that when, when the snow does quit around midnight or 1, then there's less for us to do here then. So we just go through, open it up, get the majority of the snow off, don't be too detailed. And then once it does quit, we come back, detail all the curbs, run over it again if we have to quick uh, to get it perfect. And then salt if the property manager requests it or not. This one is only salting upon their request, so we don't salt automatically here. And it's a one and a half inch trigger, so we usually keep it pretty bare. If it's an inch, um, a strong inch, so we end up plowing it. So you see how that plow kind of slams down? It's just like the weight of it slams it down. I don't really like that to be honest. It's kind of loud, obnoxious, especially at night if you're in any kind of residential area. Our Western Whiteout has a feature where when you hit it all the way down, it goes down, but I think it, it like the valve doesn't open all the way. It goes down slower so it doesn't slam. I think this is like a 2013 or 14 V plow. Let me know if you know if this plow has that feature, if it's just an adjustment or what the deal is, because I would like it to go down slower if possible, just so it doesn't slam. It kind of gets annoying after a while. So here you can see there's a big pile kind of out in the middle of the parking lot here. There is a drain right to the left of the pile that we make sure not to bury. So when it does melt, it doesn't get plugged. Now usually once this pile gets built up and there's not much room back here then for the employees to park, we end up hauling it out. So stay tuned for that video. We will likely be hauling it out soon. So here you can see I'm running along the building with my pole plow. This wing sticks out, it's all the way out around four and a half feet out past the edge of the truck. So it's super nice to be able to get right to the building like that without having the mirror rubbing the building. See right here, you can see I'm out from the building ways. It's super convenient for that. Uh, the reason I pull out here, right here, is so that you see the, the plowing was building up, so then it starts spilling over. So I basically just pulled out to the end, got it to the end, and backed up and got it, to, got it again. So here's a long residential driveway I've been plowing. I think this is one of my first few accounts. It's long, it's through the woods here. It's a really nice, really nice spot. Um, there's about five inches, five, six inches of fluffy snow. You can't really tell in the video very well. Um, but yeah, it's fun right here. One time right there, I was came to the corner a little hot and slid off the side and shoveled out for an hour. That was fun. But um, we got all the commercial stuff done and I was just helping out the guys. We do around 100 residentials. We have a couple guys that do them. Um, they were a little behind schedule, so I just hopped on a few that I know really well to help them out a little bit and hadn't done any all year, so that was fun. So here basically what I'm doing is I'm basically just turning around. I'm gonna plow the, the bulk of the driveway first. And I'm basically just turning around while plowing. Um, I'm doing that just to, instead of just turning around and not getting anything done, I kind of swung in there, back drag, kind of try to plow some as I turn just to be as productive as possible and not waste any move. I 
to get the suction cup, my mount, suction cup mount here to stick to the roof, but it wasn't happening. It's too cold, it's only five degrees. So, go up here and push out towards the pile. Big drift right there.